La Asamblea escuchará. The Assembly will hear an address by the Prime Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, His Excellency Imran Khan. May I request protocol to escort His Excellency? I have great pleasure in welcoming His Excellency Prime Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, and I invite him to address the General Assembly. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Iya karabudu wa iya kanastain. Mr. President, Honorable Secretary General, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I feel honored today to represent my country at this Forum of World Leaders, where we have a chance to discuss problems that the world is facing. I want to talk about a lot of problems, but just four today. And I especially came to, to this forum despite a difficult time in my country facing challenges. I would not have come, but because I feel that there are some very urgent problems which the world must address. So first of all, I start with climate change. So many leaders have talked about climate change. But Mr. President, I feel that there is a lack of seriousness. Perhaps world leaders do not, some of the leaders who can do a lot, do not realize the urgency of the situation. We have a lot of ideas, but as someone said, ideas without funding is mere hallucination. Pakistan, I'll give you an start with my own country. Our country is amongst the top 10 nations in the world which are most affected by climate change. We depend upon our rivers. We are mainly an agricultural country. And 80% of the water in our rivers comes from our glaciers. The glaciers, not just in, on the Pakistani side, even India. The river, in, the 80% of the water in Ganges and the Indian uh, rivers also comes from the glaciers, from the Himalayan glaciers, Karakuram, Hindu Kush. And these glaciers are melting at a quite a rapid pace. We detected already 5,000 glacial lakes in, in our mountains. And if this keeps going, if nothing is done, we are scared that they, we are, humans are facing a huge catastrophe. In my country, when my party came to power in the province of KP, we planted a billion trees in five years. Now we've set ourselves a target of 10 billion trees in Pakistan. Idea being to counter this, the effects of global warming. But one country cannot do anything. This has to be a combined effort of the world. My optimism comes from the fact that humans, the Almighty has uh, endowed humans with great powers. We can do anything, provided our survival instinct is stirred up. And this is really what I hope that the United Nations will take a lead in this. There must be more emphasis. Richer countries must be pushed. Countries that are responsible for, mainly are responsible for 
greenhouse gas emissions. They must be pushed because our country has, contributes minuscule amount to greenhouse gases. So uh, I feel that the United Nations must take leadership in this. My second issue for me right now is even more critical. Mr. President, every year, billions of dollars leave the poorer countries and go towards rich countries. Billions of dollars siphoned off by the ruling elites of the developing world. And they find their way into Western bank accounts, offshore accounts, tax havens, expensive properties hidden behind companies bought in Western capitals. Mr. President, this is devastating the developing world. This is causing more poverty, debts. It's impoverishing the developing world. The difference between rich and poor countries is growing because of this. Money laundering, which happens because money leaves the poorer countries into rich countries, is not treated the same as, for instance, money from drugs or terror financing. The seriousness which terror financing and money from drugs, the way it is treated, it's not the same. The way the poor countries are being plundered by their elites, it's not happening. In my country, when my when I took uh, uh, charge of our government a year back, in the 10 years preceding that, our total debt went up four times. The debt we had accumulated in 60 years, just in 10 years, it went up four times. As a result, the total revenue we collected in one year, half of it went into debt servicing. How are we going to spend money on our human beings, 220 million people, when half the money is going into debt servicing? Because our country was plundered by the elites, the ruling elite. And easily they could get the money out. And when, when Mr. President, we located properties, in Western capitals bought by this money through corruption and money laundering. Look